So I'm just taking this gripper arm apart again because originally I used uh, nylon filament uh, for the um, for the hinge because the uh, flex filament I've always used has been really unreliable. I tried printing um, some. Uh, you know this in 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 because uh, I didn't have Ninja Flex basically, so I tried printing that in in the the filament I've had, and I've always had a lot of trouble with it, and it just didn't come out. So I did it in nylon, uh, which worked fine, uh, but it was just too stiff in the uh, in in the gripper. It, you know there was just no movement. So someone suggested actually to get the proper Cheetah Flex, um, um, which I did. Um, but it's always been really expensive in the UK. Uh, well, I've always never found a cheap place. It's always been like sixty pounds, uh, you know, sterling, UK sterling. Um, so, for a reel of filament, it's a lot of money. But I found a place uh, recently that did it as a sample. So I got twenty meters. Um, I bought this was the bag. Um, so it's uh, uh, Ninja Tech Cheetah Snow White, and that that's. Uh, um, from 3D uh, printer, I'll put a link on to a print, 3D print labs, um, and to get 20 meters, I think it was five pounds or something, uh, and it worked really well. So um, I printed. I'm just putting them together now. Um, I haven't actually tested it. I've just put that. That was a bit stringy, but I'm not bothered about that uh, in there. But it's a lot more. Uh, it's a lot loose. So I've just got to slightly um, drill out the hole there. Uh, so I'm just putting that together, but that's been um, it, it printed perfectly. So um, I've also printed another couple of uh, things with the with the with the sample of the Ninja uh, of the Cheetah uh, Flex I've got, which are these wheels, and they printed first time. I've had so much trouble printing Flex in the past. When I printed it for the wheels for the um, R2, um, you know, one wheel printed with tyres, one tyre printed perfectly, then the next one didn't print at all, and it just went on and on and on. So um, it was just it was just a real hit or miss. But this uh, new stuff works really well. So I bought um, yesterday. I've ordered a reel of uh, a whole reel of the, uh, um, the, the Ninja Tech off the suppliers, which hopefully I'll get. You know. Uh, older than yesterday which is New Year's Eve so I'm probably get it next week sometime or if I'm lucky this week so I can just print a load more I ordered it in black um, because I think I'm always going to print you know other tires and stuff in black um, so um, so I'm just reprinting um, with the remains that I've got of of, uh, of the of the cheetah just various um, flexible elements I need for the uh, R2D2 and just tweaking a few bits and pieces so I'm going to um, work on the hinges for the arms in a minute as well so I thought I'd just get this done anyway so I'll just show you what I'm doing today So that seems a lot, uh, well it's massively different. So I'm just going to chair out of there slightly, just to screw that on. That's really loose, that's, that's really good, so that's a real success. So that was worth doing. Right, okay, well I'm gonna um, get on with those. Brilliant. Yeah, this is what I got to with the um, 
the old mechanism for R2-D2. Um, so I'm going to actually see if I can mount that onto, onto that assembly. So I've just got to sort of get this lined up in the middle, uh, attach those and set the servos. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just uh, hot glue, hot melt that onto there just for the minute, just so I get that in the right position. I don't want to super glue that on there. In fact, I don't think I'll ever super glue it on there. Uh, and then I can just get these servos lined up correctly. In fact, I haven't even set these servers, so I'm just going to do that. So uh, I've just got to move everything around for a second. Get myself a bit more organised. I've got one of these little um, servo testers, uh, which is a six channel one. Seems to uh, seems to be all right. This is plugged into my uh, five volt. Uh, I think it's about 30 amp actually. It's the, it's the original power supply I used for my in-move before I went for an even larger capacity one. Um, <coughs> sorry. But uh, so it's, it's ideal. Just extend these off a bit. I don't know where these are set in uh, relationship to uh, 90 degrees, if you see what I mean. That is actually centre that one. If you can see that, yeah, you can. So that's fine. Try the other one. So that's more or less centred as well. Actually, I might move that over just a touch. get these to stay on I've actually glued I've actually glued in uh, the little servo um, arm uh, to give it something to grip to which I think sort of works so I think what I'll do is I'll just stick it in and see what happens. I've, I've done a centre line so I'm assuming if I get that in between the two um, servos it's probably about there somewhere yeah I think that's going to be about there Okay, I'll be with you again in a minute. Okay, I've now uh, hot glued uh, that piece into the centre. I was just uh, trying to line these bits up. Uh, I just tried that one with a bolt in there. I'll just line this one, let's bring that servo forward. There's just a little bit of space there. Um, I've just tried that one. It's sort of, it's, well, it's not sort of working. So, I mean, this is it's a bit you know, jumpy because I'm just using it on this little basic servo here. That's sort of... Um, I think I've got to put some washers in there because that's not quite sitting in there. But it's, it's, doing, it's doing what it should be doing, I think. Just uh, show you that again. It's good that these are uh, flexible because uh, you'll see them slightly bend as uh, 
you see it's flexing there if you overdrive it basically i can set that in the easy b when as you uh, do set this up properly but uh, seems to be doing the works oh, <laughs> that one down. yeah that's not sitting uh, it's not closing in there properly that's because the the hinge uh, there's a bit of movement on there so i've just uh have to put a thin washer in there, I suppose. They, they did, there is some thin printed um, washers which I'll try, and in fact, I do have some of it. Uh, I will look for them. But it's sort of working, well, it's more than sort of working, that is working. So I'm just going to uh, tidy it up a little bit. Yeah, you can see that bending there, so if you do overflex it. There's also one nice little thing about this unit, it's meant to be current limiting on the first two servos, stop me burning them out because that's a habit I'm in. Okay, I'm just taking this apart again. Um, and I printed, it didn't print out very well at all actually, but uh, um, a little, um, I did this ages ago. I think this must have been part of um, the, uh, part of the r2d2 actually a, a washer but it it does actually i was just trimming it down a bit but uh it does actually work quite oh uh, a bit difficult to get in there but, um, but it's very well actually i've just put one in and that stopped all i'm not sure it's on camera there. that stopped all um wobble on that completely actually so um the top one doesn't need it but that's that's made that much better so if i just connect that back up to the uh, the servo actually that bottom one with the hinge in there works much better than the top one so uh, which was really well. That's a bit wobbly now, I can feel it vibrating that top one without, without the washer in there, so uh, I might be able to make up a washer. Oh, my printer's just stopped there as well. And so on. Just to show you what's printing. Those are the uh, inner hubs, I think they are, yeah, inner hubs for these uh, wheels for the uh, plane that I'm building, um, which is, I'll do another video on it, but I'm basically doing a 3D printed aeroplane. I've built a spit, uh, done a Spitfire, but there's no way I can fly a Spitfire, so um, I'm doing the Q-Trainer on the uh, um, 3D printed thing, uh, and uh, bought myself a transmitter, but I haven't got all the bits, so the plane's another project, but uh, so that's printing in the background. So back to these. Um, yeah, so that, that's good. So I'm going to put, um, as you can see, actually, that has now got no wobble on it. And that's got a lot of wobble. So that's that's the next thing. I'll sort that out. So it's coming along quite well. I don't want it showing through there, but just for a minute. I'm wondering if it's going to need a 
Well, I think that's something I'm going to have to work on. Just to get those to line up because it's now pushing the other way. And it's going to have to be a hinge on both. Okay, that'll do for the minute. Seems to work. Well, I call that success. That's that's brilliant. So I'm just gonna <laughs> excellent stuff. Okay, let's put that back in. What's happening behind? There we are. Right, I'm going to work on the um, the arm sections now. 